Now at 11, firefighters in Shelbyville are finding creative ways to get around town to avoid construction in that area. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik takes us on a ride as first responders put their UTV to use in a new way. All the same bells and whistles in a fraction of the size of what you might expect to normally show up on a 911 call. When we respond on a call, it's called UTV 691. While this little off-roading four-seater is normally used for emergencies on trails, Deputy Chief Matthew Stone says the Shelbyville Fire Department decided to put it to good use this week when construction began right outside one of the stations. McKay Road is currently under construction and they've changed that to a one-way only, which has restricted our response times and uh, delayed some of those responses. Stone says the UTV makes it far easier for first responders to get to certain calls like medical emergencies while the construction lasts. I took a ride inside the station's fire engine, which couldn't turn left on McKay Road. Instead, it had to go all the way around the block. That wasn't the case for the UTV. Having to turn right and go all the way around the block puts us three to five minute response time. With the UTV, we can cut right across the field, right, right across the soccer field and be so those same places 30 to 45 seconds. Though it might seem like a tiny emergency vehicle, the department says UTV 691 is equipped with everything it needs for any medical emergency. This thing is fully set up, all ALS equipment, just like we have on the engine. Um, it is set up with all the same equipment. We have these bags. Really the only thing that is different is that we have to grab our monitor. The department says the UTV has already been pretty busy since road work began on Monday. The majority of our calls, we run about 75% EMS and about 25% fire related. So if you can do those numbers three to five times a day, this UTV is responding out the door. Construction is expected to be done in about a month. Deputy Chief Stone says the UTV will keep responding to one emergency at a time until that work is finished. In Shelbyville, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.